Okay, so today, um, you probably read the title, but today I'm going to be teaching you how to use Blender and make a profile picture for your Gorilla Tag YouTube channel, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go in the description and you're going to want to click on Gorilla Tag IK Rig. There will be a link in the description, go click on that. And basically what that does is it'll bring you to this page where you can download the Gorilla Tag player model. So basically when you get here, you're going to click code, then you're going to click download zip and it'll start downloading for you. And then once you have that downloaded, you're going to basically right click on it and then you're going to click extract all and then you're going to click extract. Now you're going to see it right here and you're going to double click on it. Now I'll also leave a link to Blender down in the description, which is what we're going to be using to actually make this. So basically the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here to file. We're going to click append. We're going to go to downloads. And if you unzip that, you're going to be able to see Gorilla Tag IK Rig Main. You're going to double click on that. Double click again. Double click. Then go to collection. And then go to Gorilla IK Rig. And then here you go. You have your gorilla. Now if you're wondering why it looks like this, it's because you're not in the right setting. So you're going to go up here to the top right. You're going to go ahead and click on viewport shading. So now once you click on that, you should be able to see this. And now your monkey looks way better and you can actually see what he looks like. So some of the first things we're going to want to do is we're going to actually come over here on the right side. We're going to go to render and we're going to click ambient occlusion, bloom, and screen space reflections. And in screen space reflections, make sure to click refraction. That's just going to make your monkey look way better. Then you're going to want to come here to material and you're going to change your subsurface to 0.023. And then make sure your glossy color is white. And if you don't know how to get white, just change your saturation all the way down to zero. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on your monkey, make sure it has this orange outline, then come over here to modifiers and click on add modifier, then click on subdivision surface. Now once you're here, make sure you click on simple and make sure these and make sure both of these numbers are two. Then your monkey should be looking a little bit better. And the next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna right click on your monkey and then you're gonna click shade flat and then shade smooth and that just makes it a little bit better. The next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to click on your name and then you're gonna come up here to object mode. Then you can click edit mode. Now when you're here, you can type whatever you want. So for instance, I'm just gonna type my name, Astrid. Then once you're done, you're gonna come up back up here to edit mode. Then you're just gonna go back to object mode. Now, if you want your name to be a little bit brighter, you're going to click on your name, come down here to material, then click on your surface, change this to a mission. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to change your strength just a little bit so you can see a little bit of that glow. And then also, if you want to make your name a little bit bigger, you're going to click on your name, come over here to this one, it says scale, and you're going to drag this up and you can make it as big as you want. So I'm just going to keep it here for now. And also, if you do want to change the color of your name, uh, you can just come down here to color and surface and you're, you can just change it however you want. Then you're going to want to come up here and click this option and then you're going to come in here to render. You're going to come down here to color management, make sure this is on filmic and this is on very high contrast. Now let's add some color to our monkey. Now if you want to change the color of your monkey, basically just click on it, come down here to material and come over here to primary color and you can change it to whatever you want. It can be any color. So for this, I'll just make it, how about just purple. Next, you're going to come over here to output, and then you're going to change your resolution to 720, oh, 720 by 720. Then you're going to change your frame rate to either 60 or 30 FPS. I'm just going to change it to 60. Then you're going to come down here, change it from PMG to FFmpeg video. Then you're going to come down here to encoding, and you can just copy all my settings here. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come here to output and change this first option. Click the little folder. Then go whatever folder you want your your end product to be in. Then you just come over here, come down here and click accept. So for me, I'm just going to put in my downloads. So now whenever I'm done and I want to render it and want to get the image, I can just, it'll just go straight to my downloads. Okay, so now if you want to add some lights, you can come up here to add. You can come down here to light and we're going to make a point light. You're going to come over here to your move. You're going to move your light a little bit up, just right in front of your monkey. Then what you want to do while you have your light selected, come down here to the data on your light. Then your power and you can change it however you want. So you want it to be dark or light or whatever. Oh, and also before you do this, make sure you come back up here and click viewport shading. Then you can actually see your light. So now when you're here, you can see what your light looks like and you can make it super bright or you can make it super dark. Now, personally, I feel like 60 is a pretty good option. Just move it back a little bit and you can go ahead and like copy and paste this however you want to just really brighten up all of the sides. Now, also, if you want your gorilla to look a little bit better, you're going to click on your monkey, come down here to material and you can change your glossy color to whatever you want. So you can't really see it right now, but you'll be able to see if you add more lights and get it darker. And if you do want to make it dark like this, come over here to viewport shading, come down here to world, click on your color, then make sure this goes to brightness and contrast, then come down here to bright, contrast, and strength, and make these all zero. So now you can see that it's all dark. So now if you do click on your monkey, you come down here and you, change, you can change your glossy color to whatever you want. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in some cosmetics. So basically, you're going to go down in the description. You're going to click on the cosmetics link. It'll be right down there. Then once you have that downloaded and extracted, you're going to come up here to file, import, FBX, downloads, or wherever you downloaded it. And then go ahead and double click on it. Double click on it again. 
and then you can choose whatever you want so for me i'm just gonna go to holdables then you can choose whatever you want here so for me i'm just gonna choose actually for me i'm gonna do a hat and why don't we just try to search for the top hat here it is and we i'm gonna use the all caps one it doesn't really matter which one you use so here we have our top hat we can go ahead and move this on to where it fits our monkey and if you need to and it's like sideways and stuff and you want to like turn it and stuff come over here to rotate and you come down here and rotate it to your liking. Then we can go back here to move and we can move this right on top of our monkey. Okay, so now that I have it lined up, we're gonna now add the texture. Now, basically, I don't have a link to the textures, so if you want the textures, um, you can go to probably another person's video and they'll probably have the textures for all the hats. But basically, if you do have the textures, you're gonna click on your hat, come up here to shading, then you're gonna come over here. Then you're gonna click on this little fire thing on diffuse color texture. Click on the file, then go to where you downloaded it. And then go to textures. And then you're gonna click on this hat last. And basically what that's gonna do is it's gonna add the textures so that you can see actually what the hat looks like. And if you wanna make it look like the actual Gorilla Tat Cosmetics, you're gonna come down here to where it says linear and you're gonna click closest. And now you can actually see what it looks like. Then once you're done with that, come back here to layout and then you can it'll bring you back here. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to pose your monkey. So basically what you're gonna wanna do you're gonna want to click on this like box your your little rig and then once you click on this you're gonna come to object mode and you're gonna click pose mode then what you're gonna want to do you're gonna come up here to pose options and make sure this is off then from there you can just click on the hand and you can move it however you want so for me i'm just gonna have my hands i guess we can do it like up like this out to the side just something like this to make it look a little bit cooler and you can do this however you want but before you move anything in the body make sure to do this because i just forgot how to do this come back here to pose mode make sure you're on object then click on your hat, hold shift, go back to pose mode. So click on your hat, then hold shift, click on the rig, then come up here to object, click to pose mode, then click on your little like head rig and stuff. Then you're going to do control P and you're going to click bone. And so now once we move our head around, we, you'll see that the actual top hat moves with our head so you don't have to move the top hat um, when you move your head. So you don't lose how you lined it up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come up here back to pose mode, make sure on object mode, then come here and click add. Then we're going to go add camera, and then we're going to go ahead and click this little camera button. So now once we click this camera button, you might not see anything, but come over here to this little arrow and drag it out. Once you have this, come down to view, and then click camera to view. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to just want to zoom out. And now you should be able to see your monkey. Okay, so now for a little bit of a tricky part, this part is really just personal preference of how you want your camera to look. So you can change the focal length, which is basically what it's going to look like. So if I want it on like 28, it'll just look like that, so it looks pretty good. Or if you want a more zoomed in camera, you can turn this up, and then you you can have a more zoomed in profile picture if you want so this is really just personal preference on how you want to do this but for me i think i'm going to turn it down to 28 and i'm going to zoom in so now what you're going to do is you're going to have your camera selected click on depth of field and then go click on this drop the drop down and then go to focus distance and you can turn this down so basically what you can see is what it focuses on so if i turn it down you can see it's just all blurry but if i turn it back up then you can get it perfect just like that. And then if you turn it up more, it starts focusing more on the background and not as much as the monkey. But then if you turn it down, it starts focusing more on the monkey and not the background. So as you can see, if we find like a maybe a 0 0.8 or maybe like a 0 0.61 looks pretty good. Okay, now that we have all this in our camera setup, I'm going to add one more thing. Basically, click back on this little camera icon, then click on your monkey, then come over here to shading. And then basically what you want to do is you're going to click home and it'll bring you straight to where all this is. So basically, you're going to go down in the description and basically what we're going to do is we're going to add a face to our monkey. So go down in the description and go download the gorilla tag faces. Now, once you have that downloaded, you're going to come to your files. Then you're going to go to wherever you downloaded it. Then you're going to go double click on it. Double click on that one. And then you're going to extract this. Then you're going to double click on this. Double click again. And then you can see all of your faces. So for me, I think I'm just going to use the happy eyes. So basically what you're going to do is we're going to drag it right in here to Blender and it should pop up just like that. Then once you have it in here, you're going to use this. You're going to go to color and add this to face texture. Now you might be wondering, oh, why did they not change it? But first, before it changes, you have to come over here to face texture change. And you can change it and you can see now we have the happy monkey but you might be wondering oh it's like a little blurry that doesn't look good well you're gonna come down here to linear you're gonna click closest and boom now it looks really good so once you have that done you're just gonna come back up here to layout and then click on the camera and that's what it looks like and then boom that is how you make a gorilla tag profile picture if you have any questions please comment down below what your questions are and uh if you want more tutorials uh just tell me so yeah see you on the next one peace